how about connections or or similar lessons or or kind of some clear differences maybe that you've seen with your experience working with schools in in that capacity on kind of building and developing the school as opposed to your your experience leading a company you know really similar actually <laughs> i would say starting a school and starting a company there's there's so many similarities around just the startup process of being able to really get really concrete about what your business idea or your school program is to the point that you can communicate it well and really build momentum and awareness about what that is in the community or to your customers. You know, schools are, are very local in a sense. So a lot of what you're doing is is taking that program idea and and sharing it with the families in your community to see if they're interested. You know, when we were starting up our charter schools, we would go into the parks and do surveys. We held a lot of local information meetings. Not really that different from, from what we do on the sales side for starting a business. You know, constantly going to meetups and networking events, going to trade shows to meet with prospective um, customers. So, so there's a lot of similarities there on, on both sides. And even on the fundraising, you know, charter schools, a lot of them do apply for grants to help with some of the startup costs. And, you know, I even see ed tech companies today, some of them are very successful in getting grants to help with their startup operations, or they're doing some type of fundraising strategy. But, but I think it's, it's very similar on both sides. And the, the startup, you know, process, startup journey, it, it can be such a roller coaster ride, I think, regardless of industry. And, and so, knowing that, you know, there's going to be times when you are just celebrating because things are going so well. And then there's going to be other times where, you know, I think we have some definitely have some challenges, probably more political than anything else with the start of our charter schools. And, but there's, there's challenges regardless when you're creating something and figuring out how to push through that and, you know, reaching out to your, your network of supporters to kind of help you get through it, to get through the next, you know, next phase. And, so I think there's so many similarities when it comes to the startup side of, you know, even business versus versus a school. It's pretty interesting. 